just bought this new house in the middle of the woods. Let's go look at it. Hi, I'm Chicken. And this house has the story of it's been abandoned since 1950. And in 2015, a homeless person put an antenna on it. That's all it has so far. Well, as you can tell, it is very small. And I can only kind of fit through it. And now you can see that, well, it's very small, so I can't fit in it much. So, because I'm a chicken, I can't really fit in it. But the house is bigger than the chicken. Don't really get why. They would build a house bigger than me, but, boy, smaller than me, but still. Thanks for watching episode one. What is that? Hey, who are you? Who are you? I'm Theodore. Who are you? Chicken? What are you doing? Here at my house? What does it look like? Well, I didn't know that was there. Where did all this come from? I don't know. It's been abandoned since 1950. Then in 2016, a homeless person put an antenna on it. And I can't even fit through the doorways. That's terrible. I'm glad you have a place to be, though. I just live in the woods. <laughs> well, that's because you're a chicken. I am also a chicken. Then I can't fit in my house. Do you want some help fitting in your house? I could shove you. No, that won't work because it's already three quarters of the way falling apart. That sounds dangerous. Yes, it does. No matter how many times I try to fix the spot where it's halfway falling apart, it won't work. Well, good luck to you. Well, come this way. Try to help me. Maybe we can work on this together. And your house could get better. Well, what would that be? I don't know. We'll have to go to Chicken Depot. Chicken Depot? Yes. What's that? They have supplies. Where even are we exactly? I just knew that we were somewhere in this world. I don't even know where we're at. A stranger digging for gold one day told me that this was Chicken Alaska. This don't look like Alaska, but no. okay. I think they lied. Well, then we'll say it's Chicken Alaska until we learn more. Good idea. Anyways, what is Chicken Depot? It's a place where you can buy supplies. You can <clears throat> buy different things to build with. Or what if we just tore down this house and then we build a new one? That's a great idea. Then you'll have a safe place to be. Thanks for watching episode two. Me and my friend Theodore decided to tear down my old house and rebuild it. After we went to Chicken Depot and got some more supplies, now we have this three-story house. Yes, Chicken, this is very awesome. Yes, it is, Theodore. Let me come down here a second. Thanks for watching episode three. So, me and Theodore have been just having a simple conversation, right, Theodore? Yes, uh, that is true. So, 
that is what we are at at this point. We're pondering on getting jobs. Hey, who are you? I've never seen you before. Oh, who are you? I'm Marvin. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Theodore. And I'm Chicken. Cool. Can I stay with you? Sure. We were both pondering on getting jobs. Would you be down for that? Sure. Thanks for watching episode four. I just got back and I learned I have my job at Chicken General. Cool. That's awesome. My job is at Wall Chicken. And mine is at Wall Eagle. Thanks for watching episode five. Hi, I'm Marvin. Welcome to Chicken General. Here you will see all of our stuff. Let's go meet the owner. One foot! Yes? Hi! Hi, I'm One Foot. I'm the owner of this store. Get away from me. One foot ain't real friendly. Can someone help me? I'm what might you need, sir? How come they're sideways? Because they won't fit otherwise. Okay, I'm out of here. That was weird. Thanks for watching episode six. Let's go see how One Foot got into the store business. Hi, One Foot. How did you get into the store business? Well, you see, there used to be this creature that lived on the other side of the town around 1955 named Oliver. He owned all the stores, but then one day he disappeared. So I didn't want all the people in the town to starve, so I took over all the stores. Interesting. Thanks for watching episode 7. Welcome to my first work day. Let's see. If we ain't as stock, then I think I hear one foot over here. Yes. Sorry, one foot, for dropping that jar of pickles on you. Oh, it's okay. We all make mistakes. Thanks for watching episode 8. Guys, guys, you can't believe what I discovered a couple days ago at my workplace. What? What? Well, one foot told me. I asked him how he had gotten to the store business, and he said that someone named Oliver used to live on the far side of town on in the woods. But then he disappeared, so then he never was able to find help for the store, so then that's where One Foot come in, and he took over the stores, so nobody in the city would starve, but no one knows where Oliver disappeared to. Thanks for watching episode 9. Guys, guys, let's wait for One Foot to come, because I invited him to tell him this story. It's an interesting story. Hey, oh, yay, you're here, One Foot. So, I was exploring the back of the property, and I found an old gravel driveway that backs out to the road that runs behind here. And then, there was a mailbox on it. And there was this letter that says, Mr. Oliver Chicken, 270 Woods Lane, Chicken, Alaska. And it says, Dear Oliver, where did you go? Sincerely, Bill. Hmm, that's interesting. Yes, it is. Yes. So, that is very weird. Right? Yes, yes, yes. So, thanks for watching episode 10. Hey, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? 
What? What? Who are you? I'm Marvin. I'm Theodore. I'm Chicken. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Oliver. Well, we had heard about you. You used to own this property over here. But you didn't. But then you disappeared, so then our friend One Foot took over all the stores. So then... You decided to... So then you've come back now, haven't you? Yes. Would you like to stay with us? Yes. Thanks for watching episode 12. One foot, one foot. What? So, did you think that was interesting yesterday? Yes, it was that that happened. Hey, chicken, one foot. What? Oliver is no longer missing. Yes, he's no longer missing. He's knocking on the door at the house. What? Thanks for watching episode 11. Hi, One Foot. How are you doing today? Very good. Thanks, One Foot. Let's see. This can's trying to fall off the shelf. Let's see. Making sure every line is stopped. Thanks for watching episode 13. Time to make sure that everything is stocked. <laughs> One foot, everything is stocked. Okay. Thanks for watching episode 14. This is a nice place that you have. Yes, it is, Oliver. Oh, my phone is leaning. Well, this is Bill. Can you help me put some windows in? Yeah, sure. Be right over. Thanks for watching episode 15. Bill! Oh, oh. Hey, it's you, Oliver. Yes, and I even brought my friend Chicken to help out. Okay. Let's get started. Wow, that was some hard work to get those windows out. Yeah, I think tomorrow I will put the new ones in, but I'll go ahead and pull my truck over here with the camper on it that has the new windows in it. Thanks for watching episode 16. Time to put in Bill's new windows, right? Yes. Wow, well, those new windows are heavy. Yeah, there's some heavy little windows. I'm surprised that little tree was holding it. Yes, it is. Wow, those were some hard windows to stick on there. Wish we'd have had some more help, otherwise we'd have been done a lot quicker. Yeah, sadly, some of Chicken's friends had to be at work today. Thanks for watching episode 17. Let's make sure everything is stocked. Because I had to work today while... Friends had to help Bill with windows. One foot, everything is stocked. Okay. Thanks for watching episode 18. Gotta make sure everything's stocked. One foot, everything is stocked. Okay. Thanks for watching episode 19. Wow, this'll be our biggest work day yet. Yes, yes. Where is the frozen foods? Where is the frozen foods? Who are you guys? I'm... Um, who are you? I'm Jerry. I'm Harry. Who are you? 
I'm Jay-Z, I'm Haley, it's simple. Oh, okay. The foods are in the aisles like normal stores. Thanks for watching episode 20. Thanks for watching episode 4, temporary ending. Ah, it is just such a fun, warm day outside, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes, yes. Oh, someone's calling. Hello? This is Jerry and Harry from the store, as you recall, we met you the other day. We was wondering if we could come live with you. Yeah, sure. Okay, be right over. Okay. My address is 33 North Chicken Street, Chicken, Alaska. Okay, be right over. Thanks for watching episode 21. Okay, we're here. Who are you? I'm Jerry. And I'm Harry. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you all, too. You putting chicken on the grill for dinner tonight? No! We're all chickens! Thanks for watching episode 22. What a peaceful day out here. I'm all by myself from... And everybody else is at the store getting some supplies for dinner tonight. Hey, hey, come here, come here. Ah, thanks for watching episode 23. Oliver, we're back. Wait, where's Oliver? I don't know. Me neither. Me three. I don't know either. Let's find him. Oliver. Oliver. Hi, what are you looking for? We're looking for our friend Oliver that when we ran to the store he was outside, but we came back and he's not here. Oh, well that's odd, because I think he got kidnapped earlier by someone with a mask on. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's go search for him then. Okay. Thanks for watching episode 24. Ah, where are you taking me? Be quiet or I'll kill you. Okay. Thanks for watching episode 25. Hey, can you help me? I need some help. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Bill. The chickens know me. They've helped me out with windows. Oh, okay. Then who are you? I'm Bill. Who are you guys? I'm Jerry. I'm Harry. Okay. Hey. Chicken Theodore. And Marvin. Do you guys care to come help me with the antenna on the top of my house? Because I tried to call Oliver and he didn't answer. Yeah, sure. The reason why Oliver didn't answer is because he was kidnapped again. Oh. Interesting. I'll keep an eye out for him. Okay. Thanks for watching episode 26. We're here to work on your house, Bill. Okay. Let's get to work. Somebody else come up here. This is hard to do. Okay. Thanks for watching episode 27. So excited to be looking for Alvo. I hope I find him. Oh, there he is. Yay, I'm rescued. Hey, I'm back. Yay. It's Oliver. Yeah, he was underneath Chicken General. Wow. Thanks for watching episode 28. So, what happened to you, Oliver? Who kidnapped you? I don't know, but I heard a... I overheard a conversation of some other kidnappers calling the person Crowbar. Hmm, suspicious. How did he get you? He just came up to me and grabbed me. Huh, that's odd. Yes, it is. Thanks for watching episode 29. So, Oliver, what would you like to do about this kidnapper? Would you just like to come hang out with us at the store? 
while we're working or just work there or something just so you're not here alone? I don't know, chicken, maybe. Yeah, I guess that can happen. I would just hang out, though. Help out since it's coming up on the holidays and stuff. Okay, that sounds good. Thanks for watching episode 30. So, this is such a fun day here at the store. Right, Marv? Yes. Right, chicken? Yes, it is. Right, Theodore? Yeah. Hey, one foot. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you've met me before, though, at your house. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching episode 31. Hmm. Have you guys ever been exploring in your woods back there? No, I went back there one time before we met Oliver. There's, there was an old driveway back there that was the original driveway, I guess, to the house. That runs back at the far, at the road that runs back past the old, the, there's a old driveway that runs behind, that's, that's behind the house that goes out to the road that runs at the back of the property through chicken. But that driveway is so grown up and stuff, it's just impossible to where anyone could use it unless they're in some monster truck or something. So he just never really thought about doing much, but then that's when I found the old mailbox back there before the house was abandoned. Since Oliver was the original owner, well, I found a note in there of the Oliver, where did you go? Sincerely, Bill, or whatever. That's how he knew. That's how he learned about Bill, and how he learned about that Oliver used to live here. So that's how that started. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we should go explore it sometime. Yeah, we'll go explore it, Harry, at some point. Probably sometime this month. After all, daylight's getting. Less and less these days, so it'd be better to do it this month than next month. Yeah, it will be better to do it this month. Thanks for watching episode 32. These are some dark, creepy woods back here. Yes, they are. Huh, there's a something here. Like a metal box. Hmm, I wonder what it can be. It's like a safe or something. Hmm, oh, there's something in here. There's a slot here. Oh, well, who is this? Hi, I'm James. I've been trapped in here since about Easter. I was kidnapped and put in this safe here. I knocked the door off, but now it's to where, well, when I tried to get out, it went forward on itself, so now I'm definitely trapped in here. Oh, that's interesting. I'm Chicken, the owner of the house that's on this property. Oh, cool. Can I live with you if you can get me out? Yeah, sure. Let me try to get you out. I can't get the safe up. Are you able to stay in there a couple of days? Yeah, sure. Just as long as you can help get me out. Yeah, give us a couple days, we'll help out. Thanks for watching episode 30 Duty. Hi, can you guys help me find some milk? Yeah, sure. Wait. You're Crowbar, right? Y yeah, why? We know what you did to Oliver. We well, done rescued Oliver. And we know what you did to James. Now, unless you want to go to jail... Come help us rescue James. Otherwise, you're going straight to jail. Oh, okay. Thanks for watching episode 34. Okay, we're here to save you now, James. Okay. Hey, it's done. 
crowbar, a kidnapper. What are you doing? That's the kidnapper. Yes, we know. Oh, okay. Let's continue beating him. No, even better. Thanks for watching episode 35. So now that James is a part of the series, we're just going to be doing still sort of standard stuff. Thanks for watching episode 36. So now what are we going to do? We don't know. Wait, I think I hear one foot. Who's one foot? He's the owner of the store. I am here. What did you run over us all for, one foot? Thanks for watching episode 37. Hey, who's the new guy? Oh, that's James. We rescued him out the safe. Oh, cool. James, have you been to the stores before? No. I'd like to go, though. Okay, I'll take you. Thanks for watching episode 38. So, this is the story, James. What do you think? Oh, it's cool. Thanks for watching episode 39. So, I just got back from the store and put everything up. Oh, cool. What did you get? Chicken noodle soup. Chicken and dumplings. Fried chicken. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching episode 40. And why did you get so much chicken? So, as you can tell in the past few episodes, it snowed. So, our plan soon is to hire a construction company to build another house farther back on the property for the people to rent. So, thanks for watching episode 41. So, we're excited. The construction workers are going to be here soon to start building. They've been very behind with the bad weather. Thanks for watching episode 42. So now the house has been assembled. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching episode 43. Chicken! Chicken! What? Did you put this mysterious bell here last night? No. Why is it appeared all of a sudden then? I don't know. Hmm, strange. Thanks for watching episode 45. So, this is David from David's Mansion. You may recall him from a previous series. He's the one who moved in here, so you can look around, do whatever you want, David. Do whatever. It's your house. Do whatever. Okay. Thanks for watching episode 44. Yeah, that with that bell was really strange. Yeah, I agree. Hey, it's Crowbar. Did you put this ma- did you put this bell here? No! Thanks for watching episode 47. So, what should we do? I don't know. Hey, I see the new house has been built. Yeah, it has. Something very strange happened today. Crowboy came in wanting to know if I had any bells. Well, that's odd because he... But... He was over here. And we asked him if he put this bell here. But he didn't answer... So I kicked him way over into the woods. Strange. Thanks for watching episode 47. So they got me. So I'm going to break out of here. So we thought we was going to be living happily with no problems, but as you might have saw, Crowbar broke out of jail. So will there be a return to Chicken's Mansion sometime in the Near future? Possibly. Thanks for watching episode 50, Temporary Ending.